Hey, watch fans, Brad from Brent Miller Jewelers. And today I have for us the Seiko Limited Edition SJE093. This is the limited edition of 1,965 units. And uh, if you did not see this released, I have a feeling these are gonna be hard to get here in the very near future. Um, I just, I know I'm excited to see one of these as well. The size on this is great. So diagonally across the case, a little bit above the crown, diagonally across, I measured it 37.8 millimeters and then across the bezel, three to nine and even 38 millimeters as listed. You could see the bezel has a slight overhang over that 62 Moss inspired case. We have a 12.8 millimeter thick case. 46.5 lug tip to lug tip with drilled lug holes. We have a 19 millimeter lug width, tapering down to 17 at the pin style buckle. We have a solid stainless steel case back, and I am going to protect the limited edition number, but they are individually numbered. Um, again, solid stainless steel. The movement on this one is the 6L37 movement, 45 hours of power reserve. We do have a signed screw down crown, 200 meters of water resistance. I measured this at 90.4 grams on the full Tropic style rubber strap and they retail at $3,500. If you're seeing this and you say, I want one, unfortunately, I have to tell you this one is spoken for. Uh, we received two and they are both spoken for. Uh, one's already left the building. So uh, again, Fantastic model. Wanted to share it with you guys. I, I it's a, Probably the closest thing to the SLA-017 from, I don't know, roughly five years ago that was released. Um, I just love the dial on these. And again, nice domed sapphire crystal. And terrific size. Again, if you like the smaller or more vintage inspired dive watches. So um, let me throw this on wrist real quick. I'm actually not even going to strap it on. Just uh, again, this is spoken for. So just try to give you an idea on my six and three quarter inch wrist. And I will do a quick video comparing it to the 143, the SPB 143 here. Uh, I'll try to upload that in the next coming or in the coming days as well. Just if you want to see a comparison of it. But overall, again, I think it's a uh, pretty nice release that uh, folks are going to be happy with. So as always, greatly appreciate you viewing. Uh, I can't wrap this video up yet without giving you some bezel action. You have a unidirectional bezel. Good alignment. And let's take a look at the loom. As always, if there's anything I can do for you, shoot me an email, brad at brentlmiller.com. Thanks for viewing, and I'll see you in the next video.